Shumai and uh, welcome to WWG. Uh, today is uh, I'm going to show you a bit about Bocage, uh, our Bocage. We're having a massive release, uh, a new release with some new kits coming out. Uh, obviously because of uh, June the 6th, uh, the 75 year anniversary of D-Day. Um, so we're re-releasing some of our old stuff uh, and we've got some new stuff coming out as well. So um, I'm going to do a little bit of a painter's tip um, as we go along. We've got a new new kit coming out, uh, the painting set for Bocage, which comes with uh, three brushes and the paints ready to, on, on all the paints ready to go, which I'll be using in this video. Yeah, our resins uh, they come grey. I've already primed this in black. Yeah, ready to go. Um, obviously, uh, or just any uh, black primer would be great. Um, and then we'll start the stages from there. Right. Okay. So we've got the we've got the. Uh, Bocage pieces uh, sprayed in black already, black primed. Um, like I said, they come in grey, so I'll give them a wash in soapy water to get any of the residue off. Um, uh, let them dry, get them dried up with a paper towel or, 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 or something like that, uh, and then give them a good spray with black primer, like we've done here. Uh, just a little bit on the on the Bocage itself. This is our small kit. Yeah, so it comes with the, the two corners um, and the two small straights. Uh, it comes with a with a. a some foliage as well, which I'll I'll add uh, I'll add on later on to one uh, to one of these videos. Um, yeah, some tree stumps. Uh, Bocage, as everybody knows, is a is a, a Normandy uh, battle um, that went on the battle of Bocage. Uh, in I mean, it's used widely within the bolt action games and any other games that's out there. Uh, I'm not talking about the games. I'm going to talk about the pieces and I'm going to start painting them now. So we've got, like I said, we've got them primed up. So using our kit, now we've got all in here is the paint brushes and the and the paint that I'm going to use uh, to to bring up the, to bring these up to, to life. Uh, and then after that, then I'll show you then how to add the foliage. Okay, so so the first base colour that we're going to use is the chocolate brown uh, from uh, Vallejo. Yeah, as usual, give them a good old good shake up. Dab down on your on your slate or your tile. I've just got a normal old kitchen tile. Yeah, let's move some of the brushes. So the first brush I'm going to use is the number six that we've got. Yeah, nice big tip. I always dip it in the water first and then dry it off a little bit. Grab one of the pieces and literally just go for it. Everything will be chocolate brown for start off with. Even go over the stones. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. It gives, it's still going to give it depth. So just get in there. Uh, you're not painting a Van Gogh, so, so just literally whack it on as much as you can. Cover the whole thing. Yeah, don't worry if we don't get all the black out as well. Again, it adds the depth. And there they are, chocolate brown base colour. We've got to wait for this lot to dry anyway. Uh, so um, while we're uh, waiting for that dry, we're going to have a cup of coffee. So moving on to our next uh, next stage, the second stage, uh, I'm using here English Uniform right, uh, to, to lighten up the certain areas. This is not a light highlight, this is just give it a bit more depth now, just a second colour just to add it up. Um, now you, if you want, if you're a bit impatient like myself, you can dry the, the first coat and the second coat with, uh, with a hair dryer. Um, all I'm saying is that it is resin, it will go soft and these big sticky sticky ugly bits will start to wobble. Don't worry about it, just make sure that you just bend it back into the right place and let it cool down, it should be fine. Right, so moving on, give it a gold shake as we do. Put a dab on. Give a brush. Start brushing on. Again, all you're doing now is just picking out some of the detail. You're not gonna go full on like you did with the chocolate brown yeah it's sort of like a uh, it's a bit like dry brushing only your brush is a little bit wetter with the paint okay so just pick out the detail yeah work around the stone detail now because uh, you don't really want the i like the color on that because we're going to be using a gray in that so pick the tree roots out come up on the tree try and pick the top of the tree roots out Again, be slap dash. Again, you're not creating a masterpiece. This is Bocage, and you are going to be covering it with some foliage as well. So you just want to highlight the detail out that little bit more to make it look a bit more attractive on your board. Okay, so that's the last piece done. Uh, that's the all good, all second coated up, lovely. Um, so again, it's time for wait for wait that to dry. 
another cup of coffee or a cup of tea and a chocolate digestive and away to go on for the next stage. Okay, so hopefully everything's dried and you enjoyed your cup of coffee. Now let's come back to the detailing stage. Yeah? This is now the dry brushing stage that we're going to do. Uh, but we're going to use a highlighter of bone white. Um, it really picks up all the detail when, when you do it, uh, when you dry brush it over. Uh, however, the last time I did a video was about over two years ago. And uh, obviously I've grown older, I need glasses. And the first time ever I'm putting glasses on onto a, onto a film. So uh, you're quite welcome to comment and take the mickey. Right, okay, so dry brushing. Keep your brush nice and dry. Put it into the paint and then take it off onto a sheet. You're only going to start picking up the colours. And I start off with the roots. So the roots in there. I start picking them little highlights up on the tree. So if you do the low low detail down the bottom first and any sticking out bits. Because uh, you're going to cover most of that with foliage anyway so it's, it's up to you really how far you want to go with your dry brushing. I do like the detail so I try to pick as much out as I can. And again, if you make a mistake, a big mistake, uh, like a blob of paint or something like that, don't worry about it on the top, because you're going to cover it with foliage anyway, so. Um, the so detail's been picked out on the trees and the, all the wood areas. Uh, so what we're going to now move on to now is the stones. So first of all, we're going to use a neutral grey. Okay, so again, give it a good old mix up. Uh, and again, we're picking out the, picking out the, the, high, the, the stone side of it now, all the, all the uh, hard areas. Um, again, it's fine detail, so I need my glasses again, and I'm sure there's a few of you out there that's going to take the mickey out of me, but hey, that's part and parcel of it, great. So give it a good old shake. Again, this is a base colour of the of the stone. Uh, so I'm using now the our number two uh, detailing brush. And literally start to pick out the stones. So there we go. Obviously, we're gonna wait again now for that to dry. So let's put the to, to put the last highlight on, um, which will really pick the detail out. Again, like this is a really basic color, basic basic thing to do. Um, you're gonna start the uh, the to really start to pop when we put the foliage on. Uh, it's all about getting these little babies on the table uh, and starting to enjoy them. Okay, so now we've done this. Once they are dry, we're gonna use the sky grey uh, on the stones. So all you're doing now is picking out the grey, so you're highlighting the grey to show them stones pop out. Yeah? So again, dry brush, take the paint off, and lightly over the top. And like I said, I'm old, I need to get my glasses on. So there we go guys, one set of resin, bocage, painted up. The colours have been selected by our head of a design, head of design who designed these and made these, which is David Heathfield. Yeah. I'm sure you guys, some of you guys out there are going to be far better painters than I am, and you know what I mean, I'll have a lot more time to do it. Uh, but I hope that uh, this has just given you a little bit of an insight and a little bit of help and tips uh, on how to do it. Um, and hopefully the kit will, uh, will make it easy for you as well. So go and grab yourself a cup of coffee now um, while we're waiting for these, uh, this lot to dry. Hopefully now you've had your cup of coffee and I've had my hair cut. Um, so we finished off uh, the last stage with the painting. Um, with the paint set, uh, you see that the bocage is now is dry, ready to go so, to the next level, which is uh, adding the foliage to it. Okay, so um, more, all the kits that you buy will come with uh, all the foliage. Um, you've got, your, you've got a, a big bag, which is your, sort of your ground foliage, which you'd start from. Um, so you'll add that and add the height. Um, then we've got uh, uh, the flower ones just to add a little bit of colour to them. This is a flower one and a red berry one. Um, just to add a little bit of different texture, and co sorry, different colours to them. Then as well we've got a, uh, an olive one there and a, and a, a light, light green. Um, so what we do is that uh, the, you can see from here that with the figure that the bocage itself, which is the, the bankment itself, is still lower than, than, the, than the models themselves. Okay, and these are bog standard bolt action figures. Okay, so what we'll do is we use the foliage then to, to add the height 
to start. So because obviously all the bot guys, as we all know, was was higher than the than the than the walking soldier. So okay, so what I use nice and quick. So you can use any glues. Right? It doesn't matter what. There's no there's no uh, rule to use. I use super glue because it just goes off quicker for us. Yeah, uh, and I mean, and I'm doing it for the video. Um, it goes off quicker. I can show you quicker. Uh, you can use our our glue, um, our standard glue. You can use PVA. You can use anything uh, as long as it sticks. PVA you there for about four years until it goes off. Uh, any other good glues like our our, our glue, our FTG or our general glue, uh, that's good enough. But again, we sell uh, uh, we'll sell super glue on the on the website anyway, so you can get it all. So. Um, now then, you want to be as random as you possibly can, yeah, um, like I always say, people see me doing demos in any railway shows, is that uh, when you create in nature, if you make a mistake, it turns into a good idea. At the end of the day, you create in nature, there is no right or wrong way of doing it, you just want to be as random as you can, and it looks be it'll look better then. So just get little, little, tear little bits off the, the clump, yeah. Um, and then just start building up. You want to try and keep the detail on the bottom and a bit of earth at the bottom. Um, you can put a little bit of foliage in if you want to, but for you, put a bit of glue on. Yeah, stick a bit of foliage on. Like so. Put some down here. Yeah. Yeah, the super glue for us, for me, is going off quite quickly. Now you can go on top of it if you want to. A little ball patch for there. Stick a bit of the clump foliage for there. Now you can see all of a sudden that I've gone from a bank where, with nothing on, with some greenery on, and I'm starting to build that height. You can see that it's almost higher than him. So if I want now, let's add a different colour. Let's put a different colour in there. So we'll put a little bit of green, uh, olive green in there. Right, just move that to the side and you want smaller bits of olive green just to break it up you can put a bit of here some there again now so select some different colors again so this is the red berry that I'm adding so I want to go this this to go on top this is starting to flower And again, there we go. There's there's your line of sight that's gone there. Now you can see at least. Let me go for, let's go one more on top of there, maybe. Well, gone. We can't see him. So, and it is just now a case of just building up. Like I say, use your use the dark green one just to build the bockage up. All the foliage up. Pick some pieces up. Right, guys, that's it. Done. Finished. Yeah. Um, it, it's not going to take you long. Yeah. You've got you. You've got everything. You know. If you buy the paint set, you can paint it. Yeah. Up to up to a level. Up to a nice standard. Um, uh, and then you get all of all of. The foliage stuff that you can put up the foliage on, and you can see that I, you know, what I mean, you've got hidden troops. Yeah, they hidden. So that guy goes behind there, you can't see him. That guy goes behind there, you can't see him. Yeah, but I've also left little loops in there as well, so you can fire through um, as they did back in back in the, in, in the in the battle of the Bokash. Um Some of the, at the back here are some of the pieces that um, that we've got well, other pieces that we've got. Uh, these are our feature pieces. Where you can see uh, there's like the, on the corners there's like a, a little rabbit sticking his head out uh, there's a field mouse on this one you can see badgers and foxes here uh, little sandbag details by here um, on here there's a stoat um, and on this one is a hedgehog you know what I mean so there's a little bit of fun for that as well for you to paint the extras you can see that some of them come with tre uh, the trees on it as well and uh, I, in the uh, up and coming videos that I'm going to be doing uh, I'll show you quickly how to make a tree um, it's done in seconds boys right so you know what I mean it, it's great um, 
so that's it basically that is it, that is it in a nutshell yeah they, it's been released for uh, D-Day to uh, June uh, the 6th um, I think it's on the website right now and uh, Josh will put all the website details on there when, uh, when he finishes editing and everything um, it, all this will be available in different kits yeah, from the small kits right up to the big, uh, big, big, big kits where we're, uh, where you get everything in there, including roads and bridges and stone walls and stuff like that. Um, you can do a small little battle table, uh, a skirmish table, to a full-on, um, you know, I mean, award-winning tables and stuff. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you uh, 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 learn a little bit or, you know, I mean, or take some tips from it. Um, please leave comments and uh, the guys will get back to you. Um, you need anything, you need to speak to me, give me a ring as well, you know, I mean, back in back at HQ, I got no problem at all. Um, incidentally, we're up in Warlord uh, in um, uh, their opening day in July, July the 20th, I believe, as well. Um, so again, if any of you are around there, come and have a chat with us, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Thanks, guys. Um, enjoy, enjoy the pieces, enjoy our, uh, enjoy our products, um, and happy gaming, guys. Ta-ra.